Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I went ahead and did this really pretty pink eye with a gold cut crease. And I did get a couple requests to do this look, so I went ahead and tried my best to recreate it. It was a little bit difficult because I probably did this look like three weeks ago. It feels so good to be back filming. I was gone from YouTube for about three weeks, maybe two weeks. The weather here has just been raining and overcast and just no lighting so um i finally saw the weather today and i saw that it was going to be sunny and i was going to be home alone so no interruptions i went ahead and put this look together for you guys and if you want to see how i got this pink eye look with the really pretty soft subtle glowy skin then just keep watching i'm back guys it's been a while. It's been like three weeks. I'm so sorry. I did have days where I was planning on filming, but then I had construction outside, so the noise was just super loud that I wasn't able to film anything without you hearing like talking or the construction or anything. Um, and it has been really overcast for the past two or three weeks. So I waited for a day where it was sunny. So my face is a little bit more dry and red. I did get prescribed um, acne medication. I don't know if it looks more red on camera or not, um, but it, it is a little bit more red. Um, I'm probably about almost three weeks into using the medication. So hopefully in the future, you know, it gets cleared up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. I did do my eyebrows off of camera just because I noticed that it takes me like 15 minutes when I do it on camera. I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with my eyes. So for my eyes, for my eyeshadow primer, I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. And I'm just gonna put that over my eyes. And then I'm going with my Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna blend that out. So to set the eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the shade Translucent. And for that, I'm gonna be using my Morphe E48. Brush. That's embarrassing. I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it in. Have a really nice and set base for when we put on the eyeshadows. So mainly for the eyes, I use the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia. I did actually use a couple shades in the Soft Glam palette, um, but for the most part, I use like the little pinky shades in this palette. So the first shade I'm gonna go into is Raw Sienna right here, and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. And that was the Morphe R40 brush. It was just a really big fluffy blending brush. Next I'm gonna go in with a little bit of smaller blending brush and this is the Morphe M513. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of burnt orange. So I'm just gonna bring that a little bit lower than I did with um, Raw Sienna. And I am doing my eyeshadow before I do my face makeup. But in case there is fallout that goes onto your face, I don't want it to get in my foundation, the concealer and everything. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with the Morphe R39 brush. This is just a tapered blending brush. I'm gonna go with the shade right here, Buon Fresco, which is this like cool toned um, mauve pink. And I'm gonna go in with that on this brush. And then I'm just gonna blend that into the crease. Just so I have a transition of pink already on my lid. And actually with that same Morphe R39 brush, I'm going to go into the shade right here called Love Letter. This is going to be basically like the main eye color that I'm going to be using. I'm going to go in with that shade really lightly because I do want it to be built up. So I'm just going to be building that up on the outer crease and then bringing that in as well. And I'm going to go back in with that Morphe R40 brush, the big blending brush. And I'm just going to blend everything together. There's no light coming in on this side. I am looking into a ring light to buy, so I don't have to depend on my window lighting. So stay tuned for that. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade right here called Venetian Red. It's a little bit darker than the Love Letter and it does have hints of like glitter, like a super subtle glitter. And I'm just gonna go in on the outer part of my eye and just blend that in right there just to add a little bit more darkness on the outer part. And I am using my Morphe E17 brush. Next, I'm going, um, it's just another blending brush, but I haven't used this one yet, so that's why I'm going to use this one. But it's just the brush, the Anastasia brush, that comes with the palettes. And then I'm going to go in with the Soft Glam palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to go into the shade down here, Noir. Noir. The black shade, just to deepen up the outer part. I'm going to tap that off, because... 
So I'm gonna go ahead and add that really lightly. And then I'm gonna go back in with my Morphe M513 brush. I'm not gonna put any extra eyeshadow on here. I'm just gonna go in and just blend what we have now. All right, so next I'm gonna go back in to the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm gonna go into this gold shade right here. I'm just gonna pack it on the brush. And then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe setting spray and then just wet the brush. And then I'm gonna start from the inner corner and kind of just like when you open your eye, you want it to just follow your crease. What I like to do is trace with the gold eyeshadow. That way I have like a nice outline of where I want the gold eyeshadow to go. By putting the setting spray onto the eyeshadow, um, it just makes it just makes the eyeshadow more intense if you have it wet. Bless you. Okay, I'm ready to put my face makeup on already. Like <laughs> my face is so red on camera, but you know. So next, I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe R40 brush, the big fluffy brush. I'm just gonna blend everything in seamlessly to make sure there are no harsh lines so as an extra little step that i did i went in with the urban decay heavy metal glitter in the shade midnight cowboy and this is just a gold glitter and what i did was i just traced my crease with the glitter just to add a little bit more of like a pop so i'm gonna start from the i don't want to talk while doing this because I'm gonna mess it up, I know it. But I'm just gonna go in from the inner tear duct and then I'm gonna just trace it all the way until like the half crease where the glitter stops. <sighs> and these glitters are um, wet, so I do have to make sure that they are completely dry before moving on to anything else. So next I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper Black. All right, so I'm gonna take the eyeliner and just line my upper lash line. All right, lashes are done. Wow, I really can't get over how red my face looks on camera because it doesn't look like that in person. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M213 brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, Vermeer. As you can tell, I fit pan. I'm gonna go in with that shade right there and then just highlight my brow bone. This stuff is actually really, look at that. It's, this stuff's intense. The first, I just wanna tell you guys about a product that I've been using that I've absolutely been loving ever since I have started my whole acne medication. This is the um, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Intense Hydration Skin Protectant. I've absolutely been loving this moisturizer so much. My friend Vivian got me on it, so girl. Thank you. I love it so much, especially because right now my skin is really red and it's really dry. So this has honestly been such a lifesaver. I kid you not when I say this, this is the best moisturizer I have ever used, ever. It has oatmeal, soothing oil, eucalyptus oil, um, helps provide immediate relief and visible improvement for dry or distressed skin. You can honestly use it anywhere, not just on your face. And it's it's been so good. If you guys suffer from um, dry skin, especially now, because it's been a very, very dry um, past couple of months, I would recommend trying out this if you are looking for something that's a little bit more intense. So the next product that has been helping my skin so incredibly much it's the elf hydrating booster drops when i tell you this stuff is hydrating it's amazing the amount of hydrating products that i have tried for my skin is just ridiculous and this is literally like eight or nine dollars from ulta that it's it's so nice like i started using it like two weeks ago and i'm almost done with it you guys probably think i'm crazy or like over hyping these products but I'm just trying to do it to help you guys. It This stuff is just literally amazing. Now for primer, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe setting spray. It's called continuous spray, but I like using it in replacement of a primer water. 
So next, I'm going to go in with my foundation. Uh, this is the Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. Um, this is from Maybelline, and I love this foundation so much. This is probably my go-to foundation. My skin has been so dry and red. This is definitely my go-to, I would say. I'm just going to... Oh. And this is just a Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Like, this stuff covers everything. <laughs> so this is a new product that I actually fell in love with recently. It's the e.l.f. 16-hour camo con- Did you guys see me do that? I was like- I love this concealer so much. It's super full coverage. I would say in a way it is like a duplicate for the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, but I really, really like this concealer. And especially if you're wearing this to a party, you're going to want your makeup to be staying all night long. So we do have the 24-hour foundation, the 16-hour uh, concealer. So you got yourself a nice little combination of all night products. So I put it under my eyes. And then I'm going to put it on my chin on the center of my forehead, and then the bridge of my nose. So when you put the concealer on, you can just clean up the edge of the eyeshadow with the concealer, just to give it a little bit of sharpness. Like that. Yeah, this concealer is full coverage. This concealer, wow. And it's e.l.f. Next, I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender and then in that Laura Mercier setting powder. And I'm just going to put it on my, blending, my Beauty Blender and just set my under eyes. I usually don't bake my under eyes, but if I'm going to a party, I do want my makeup to stay in place all night. So that's when I usually do my baking. And then I'm going to put a little bit on my chin and my nose. And I'm just going to leave that bake on just for a couple minutes and I'll be right back. Alright, so the bake has been on my face for like five minutes now. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Morphe E3 brush. It's just like a dusting off of setting powder brush. So I'm going to dust off whatever I put on my chin and on my nose. And then lightly dust away what I put on my under eyes. So for bronzer today, I'm going to go ahead and use the NARS Laguna bronzer, of course. And I'm going to take my Morphe E4 brush. It's just like a little angled brush. I used to use this brush for blush. I knew I was going to mess that up. I used to use this brush for blush, but I found that it really gets in nicely on like the hollows of my cheeks to put the bronzer on. So it just kind of, I don't know, it just works perfectly well to put, to put the bronzer on. So, so I'm just going to go in my hollows of my cheeks just to add some more warmth. I'm going to put a little bit on the temples right here and then on my forehead. Just so I have an all-over warmth to the skin. And then I'm just going to blend the bronzer down my neck as well. So for blush, I really want it to complement the pink tones that we have on the eyes. So I'm going to go in with the Tarte. Um, the, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 24-Hour Blush in the shade Captivating. And it's really pretty. It just looks like this. It's like a peachy pink, and I feel like it's really going to complement the eyes. And I'm going to go in with my Morphe M427. I really like this blush too because it just has like a little bit of sheerness to it. To where it kind of just makes the cheeks glow a little bit. And I'm just going to put a little bit of blush on my nose because who am I if I didn't? <gasps> I actually forgot to contour my nose, so I'm going to go back in with that NARS Laguna Bronzer. And then I'm just going to go in and lightly contour the nose just to add some dimension and bring my nose shape. Wow, I really just went off on that blush on my nose. <laughs> Oopsies. So for highlighter, I'm going to go in with Dose of Colors um, Fuego Highlighter. This is in the collab with Desi and Katie. I haven't used it, and I really, really love the color of this highlighter, but I think I got, like... A bad one or something because the top layer it was a whole mess the top layer of the highlighter basically had like a film over it to where it wasn't dispersing any of the product it was just kind of like I would swipe my finger and there would be like nothing that came off I didn't return it because I loved it and they didn't have any more like they completely sold out so the packaging is literally beautiful as is the highlighter 
Um, so basically what I had to do is like, I had to like scrape off the top layer and now I'm finally like able to use it. All right, so I'm gonna go in with that on the, just a fan brush. This is the Morphe R12. All right, so really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the right side of my face as well as the brush because it's just gonna make the highlighter apply a lot nicer. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. Just a subtle little, subtle little glow. I didn't expect this highlighter to go off like this, but what can I say? So now all we have to do is just do our lower lash line. So I'm gonna go back in with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm gonna go in with the shade Raw Sienna right here, and this is my Morphe Y20. And then I'm just going to go in on my lower lash line and just blend that in. And then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, the brush that I used before, the one that had like the little blending brush. On the other side, it has this like really small and like dense um, side. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the shade Love Letter and I'm going to take that on my lower lash line as well. Also making sure I'm connecting my lower lash line shadow to the shadow that I have on the top. Just so it's all one, like, you know? Next, I'm going to go back in with the Morphe M512 brush. And I'm going to go in the same shade that we um, highlighted our brow bone with. Shade Vermeer right here. And then I'm just going to pop it on the inner corner. Can you guys see that? Next is lips. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. I'm gonna put that on first. And then just to put on top of that, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. And just to be extra, I'm gonna go in with just like a random pink lip gloss. I don't even know where this is from. I think it's from Forever 21. I have no idea. But just to add some, this has glitter, which is what I really like. So I'm just gonna put that on top and it's gonna make the lip color a little bit more pink nude. Actually, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild eyeliner and I'm gonna put that on my waterline. And I think that is the finished look. Let me go ahead and add some setting spray. And then like I normally do, I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just take the bottom end of it and go over everything that I just I, li I like doing this because I like going over all of the powders that I have on my skin just so it doesn't, like, it all blends in and melts together really nicely. I think we are done here. This is the finished look. I really, really hope you guys liked it. I tried my best to recreate the look that I have on my Instagram. I think... Um, the eye look turned to be a little bit more pink than I had in the picture, but it still turned out really pretty and I really hope you guys liked it. It was so nice filming again. I really missed it. I'm trying to like, I wish I could show you guys, like zoom in. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys liked it and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Filming on trash day was such a great idea. It hurts from sitting on this desk for so long. Slight <laughs> intermission. Come here.